Father, we worship you. We give you glory. We give you honor, Lord. Where would we be if it wasn't for your blood, O oh Lord? While we were yet sinners, O oh God, you came and died for our sins. <laughs> that is so, so amazing, O oh God. You looked past our faults, O oh God. We did not deserve it, O oh God, but you did it anyway, O oh God. Father, right now we come before you, surrendering all that we are in your hands, O oh God, all our troubles, O oh God, Father, all our shame. I know some of us came here full of sin. Some of us came feeling like we messed up before God. Some of us came when we have troubles that we are going through. Some of us came when we have challenges, we have needs that have made us run away from Jesus, that have created a barrier between us and Jesus. But right now I want to break it in the name of Jesus. We choose to surrender everything that we are before you, Lord Jesus. Come on, friends, surrender everything you are right now. In your voices, start crying out to Jesus right now. You know what you're going through. You know what is happening in your lives. So come on, speak out and ask the Lord to come into your lives right now. I want to remind you of this grace that is so amazing. That we cannot even, we don't have words to express the grace that Jesus has for us. His mercies are always new. He looks past our sins and forgets them. Friends, I want to let you know that Jesus has the power to break that bondage you're in. Jesus has the power to heal you. But all you have to do is to cry out to him, to surrender all that you are. And ask him, ask him to come into your lives. You know, you might be having a certain pain of something that happened in your life that really affected you and you've been moving with the pain forever and ever. But right now, surrender it to Jesus because he's willing to forgive you. He's willing to heal you. The Bible says he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He never changes. The same Jesus that healed the people, the same Jesus that performed miracles, is the same Jesus who can do it right now. Come on, cry out to him and ask him to come into your life. You know, when we try to do things on our own strength, we fail. But I want to remind you, when Jesus was gone, he said, I'm going to leave you a helper. Friends, you don't have to struggle alone. There is a helper. There is the Holy Spirit. He's willing. He's interceding on your behalf. It's so amazing to know that I don't have to struggle alone. Because there is the Holy Spirit. He lives inside us. He lives inside of me. You know what? If you don't let him inside you, he won't force himself inside you. All you have to do is to surrender. Total surrender. Who will come, your Holy Spirit? 